What is your name? Esther Perry. Um, what were some of your occupations? I worked at the button factory before I was married. Once I was married, I had to quit because I had a husband to take care of me. <laughs> what did you do at the button factory? Well, I, I did book work and then I weighed out colors. Now, there's a mix for the, you know, for the buttons and I weighed out the colors that went into the mix. Then that mix went into an extruding machine, came out in rods. They put those in the refrigerator, in a refrigerated place. And then when they came out, they what they called, they turned them. They made them into slices. Then they were shipped to Rochester, where they were turned into buttons. So the button factory was in Rochester? Well, we had a branch here, down oh. in Indianola. Oh, it's not there anymore, is it? Hmm? That's not there anymore, is it? Well, the building's there. But the factory's not no. in it? No. Why isn't it there? Well, they moved everything to Rochester, and I don't think they're in business anymore. Um, after you got married, your husband started, well, you worked at Perry's, I assume. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me a little bit about Perry's? Well, let's see. That was a long time ago. <laughs> 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 um, my husband's aunt had charge of the high school cafeteria, and she wanted ice cream. Well, the local guy in Akron, he wouldn't sell it to her. So my father-in-law said, I'll make you some ice cream. <laughs> and that's how we got started. <laughs> So it was your father-in-law set it up, and then your husband took it over? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And I got grandsons now. <laughs> and it, so it's still a family business. Yeah, it sure is. Um, 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 I I really don't know though. Where to go? I I just don't know where to go from here. Can you tell me the history of Perry's ice cream? I'll try. <laughs> My husband's aunt had charge of the high school cafeteria here, and she wanted ice cream, and the man that. I sold ice cream in Akron down the oasis. He wouldn't sell it to her. So my father-in-law said, I'll make you ice cream. And that's how we got started. Um, it was, was the factory always on Ice Cream Plaza? No. No, it was down on Pearl and Franklin, just below the cemetery. Do you know why I'm talking about? There's a cemetery right in the middle yeah. of town. It's just below that. Um, the why building's you, still there. Why did you move to Ice Cream Plaza? We needed more room. We expanded and uh, we bought a house right next to the plant thinking we would go up the street. And I think it was Don Whiting said, you're crazy. You need more room than that. So he sold us that property down on Cedar Street. And that's how we got down there. <laughs> um. I have a question. Okay. Would that be all right if I ask a question right now? Yeah. Could you tell us, please, what else, wh uh, what other business you and your husband ran when you were down there on Pearl? Oh, there was a like a grocery store, and um, we, oh my gosh, we processed meat, and they used to bring deer in, you know, and they they put these deer in the trunk of their car and close the lid and bring them into our place and smell up the whole place. It was terrible. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but we mm -hmm. processed meat and we had a locker plant. And this was during the war and you uh, had your own locker where you had your own meat. People would buy a whole pig, you know, and process it and put it in their locker. Mm -hmm. Ew. <laughs> And then how did they get it? Did they come down and take everything at once, or did they come oh, down and just get what they needed? Wherever. Yeah, they had 
Yeah. Um, did you start Perry's ice cream before or after you had the meat process processing company? Let's see. 1933 is when we started the ice cream business. Um, so you had the ice cream factory all through the war? Mm-hmm. Did it do well? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, see, um, you always lived in Akron, right? I, I, mm -hmm. I'm a native. Um, can you tell me, like, what some, some of the buildings and the businesses that were here when you were young? I went to high school, or to grammar school, up where the town hall is now. And then beyond that was a high school. Well, that burned, and so that's where the uh, Masonic Temple is now. And did you go to the high school that burned, or did you come to? Uh, when I was in fourth grade, we moved up to the new school. <laughs> <laughs> and I graduated from there. What year did the high school burn? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, like, when you were young, what did you, where did you and your friends go, like, to have fun? Roller skated, mostly. <laughs> that didn't cost anything. <laughs> no, we didn't do that much. There was some bowling. You know, there was a bowling alley. Um, uh, can you tell, um, so, can you tell me some of the, like, the businesses that were down on Main Street by Russell Park and, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> businesses. Oh, there were several grocery stores, you know. We didn't have any supermarkets. We had meat markets and grocery stores. And Mike George's father had a store where he sold fresh fruits and vegetables. That's cool. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, Ashley, I... I know, but that's just threw me off because I was... That's okay. I was going to... Okay. Let me get back that's on track. That's what a real newscaster has to do no matter yeah. what's going on in the studio. Okay. So... I am gonna so screw I so screwed up this tape. Okay, um You've talked a lot about the history of Perry's, right? I had to go out to speak to a teacher. I talked about the history of Perry's. Hold it in there <sighs> Just do it here. I read about the history of Perry's and I started talking about some of the businesses when she was young down on Main Street and I talked about a little bit about the school. Um the grammar school that you went to, was it a one-room schoolhouse? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite that bad. <laughs> so you had different, like, grades separated? Absolutely, yeah. It's where the town hall is now. That was a grade school. And then in fourth grade, you moved up to? The big school. The, yes. one, the one right here? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what the layout of the old school was like? like Really? Like, oh gosh, it was brick. <laughs> John, you know as much about it as I do. <laughs> um, but like, I heard that the auditorium used to be up where our cafeteria is right now. Was that true? That's right. Yeah. And did all the grades come to this school, like kindergarten through twelfth? Um, <laughs> I have another question, please. I'd like to know if you remember when you were going to the elementary school down on the corner of John Street, do you remember um, playing in Russell Park around the fountain? Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit of your memories of that? We had more fun in the winter time. We'd start in front of the Methodist Church and go right down through the park and out <laughs> and down as far as the railroad tracks. Uh -huh. 
On sleds? On sleds. But there wasn't as much traffic then, you know. So. What about the fountain? Did you have your class pictures taken by the fountain? Pardon? Did you have your class pictures taken by the fountain? I don't ever remember, no. Uh -uh. There is one, though, isn't there? I, I've seen one that was taken there. Mm -hmm. And was recess held in Russell Park or right in the school? Right there in Russell Park, yeah. Um, in your time off from like during the summer and all that, did you go down to Russell Park with your friends mm -hmm. and play? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> your baby's crying. <laughs> um, I heard the kids used to swim in the park fountain. Did you ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the park fountain, where it was located, and well, what it looked like? It's right where the gazebo, you know, it's covered over now. But um, then there was, next to it was um, quite a two-story building, and that's where the band used to play up there. And there were lavatories down below, so we'd hold our nose and run up the stairs and play in the band. <laughs> <laughs> So you were in the band? Yeah. Um, I played a, a soprano sax. For how long? <laughs> During high school. During high school? Yeah. Um, can you tell us what happened to the fountain? Why it's not there anymore? I think it just got to be a nuisance with the water and the kids playing in it, and they just finally just covered it over. That's sad. Mm -hmm. I heard it was, it had like nymphs it, it, around. It did. Neptune in the middle? Neptune is around some place, isn't it, down? I believe Neptune is gone. I think is he's, gone? he's a goner. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said you used to go play in the park. Mm -hmm. what, kind, what types of games did you and your friends play? Oh, gosh. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, um, you said, um, tell me more recently that 9-11 um, impacted you. Um, that impacted you, but um, did you find any similarities in between 9-11 and what is recently happening? I mean, between 9-11 and back in World War II when Pearl Harbor was bombed because that got us into a war and it seems like this is getting us into a war. So do you see any similarities there? Mm, I don't believe so. <coughs> um. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm getting> <laughs> I don't know where to go after this. Just, just do the wind-up now. Or okay. Ask if she has any other memories of Akron she'd um, like to talk about. Is there any other memories of Akron you'd like to talk about? Pardon? Is there any other memories of Akron that you'd like to talk about? Okay. Mostly the 4th of July celebrations. We always have had a big celebration on the 4th of July with parades and fireworks. And <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We still have those today. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for coming. It's a pleasure to be talking to you. <laughs>